Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is The Watcher here from Into Starcraft and I will be making a, another tutorial and I'm also known as the Almighty on Mapster and Twitter and whatever. So it's the, this is the second tutorial, my tutorial series kind of, and the previous one is the like really 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 basic editor stuff. Well this one will be, go, will be going a bit more uh, into date, the data editor and how to make a few custom abilities or weapons and actually I, I wanted to make actually three custom abilities I will turn one of those into a weapon the, there's no large difference actually so I'll show you how to make three abilities these are the fireball, shockwave and a sort of strike cannon not the, not the Thor strike cannons as they are normally but a huge AOE with a lot of explosions and just, just looks awesome so I think we'll take the fireball and turn that one into a weapon. There's not, not a huge difference between how to make an ability and a weapon. And I think I'll rather show how to make the AoE as a, AoEs as abilities because you want to probably want to know how to make the cur the large circular cursor, you know, the one that marks the area of effect. Well, for the fireball, you, the, we wouldn't have to do that anyway. So I guess we are going to start with the basics of the data editor. So you know the data editor when you see these bars and this and it says data on the top here it's untitled map because I actually didn't save it oops I shouldn't double click that you got these five buttons here and to get the same view as me you should press all of them let's just go on let's say all units and marine I find the marine and the marine is right here so we can just show you show you everything here and we're waiting a bit and so if you like these are, I can sh I'll show you the different options here, so there is, you see there's a lot of fields here. So if we press this, we get even more fields, because this one just combines the these fields. If I open this one, it actually opened all of these fields, all of them. So if you just hit this one again, if you hit this one again, it will just combine all those multiple fields that you open all at once into one field again. Now this one is show field type names, oh yeah, so here. You see, you start. You have prefixes: ability, AI, behavior, combat. If you remove that, you are abilities. You just, you just sort normally. So, you know, cost is right here, whereas cost would be down here. So it's just adding prefixes. Yeah, adding prefixes. So that's pretty useful. So for, you know, if you want to modify movement, you just go to the movement stuff. You don't go through random places all at once. You've got everything you have at one place. Like stats are all here. And let's go to next button is show advanced fields. So we remove that and we lost the scroll bar and we lost a large amount of fields which were edited. Or not edited, but you know, you just have the basic fields, abilities, command, card, behavior. See all the AI fields disappeared. The stats has been a bit simplified I think and you know there's just UI unit attributes and if we open this again we got AIs, more behaviors, like more behavior stuff, more combat stuff, more movement stuff. A lot more fields, you know, that's really much. And then this is show default values. Okay, this is just you know you just see what's edited. That's it. I wonder if we make a new unit. Yeah, it'll actually not show mo all fields when you do that. It just shows edited fields. So we go back to the marine. So this way you can find all fields, even those that were not edited. Marines, you know, don't have a behavior like immortals have the hardened shield, which is a behavior. So immortals would show this behavior field while marines wouldn't. Actually marines actually do show behavior fields. Okay. Strange. Oh I know. This this is the one. Okay, now now I got the right one. <laughs> and show table view, this is a different type of view. You get this. It's also good, but I've been I'm used to table view instead of this view. Right, you got all these stuff and all these things like there. All fields are already open. I think this is more performance heavy. I see this takes forever to load for me. Comment right, this takes so long to load. So I prefer table view. It's much simpler for me and well, you can use both. I don't mind. Just you just have to know what it is. So right, you know these are the not table view is uh, separated into tabs, which are you know which have these prefixes: ability, behavior, combat. So. If you're using that view, just just look at the prefixes I'm using. So I think that is all about the these five buttons. Then this is raw data. 
which means it shows you everything. See unit, blah, 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 blah. It shows you exactly how everything looks like, how it should look like, right? If you do not have it, it's like processed and it shows you like, uh, so it's easier to understand. But if you're using some, some uh, more, some triggers which are a bit more complicated, which use catalog values and stuff like that, you want to use raw data so you can get the uh, proper names of all these fields. Otherwise, you might not need it. Also, raw data reduces the performance needed for this, so it really reduces stuff. And raw data and table view sometimes don't go uh, together too well. So you want to, you might want to use not table view when you're using the raw data, unless you want to find field names. So what else? Oh, you see, you, I've got a bunch of tabs open. When you open a data editor for the first time, you will only have the units tab. If you want to open more tabs, you just go here on the drop down and you just open one of the new tabs, right? There's advanced, blah, blah. There, there's, um, you know, they're just grouped here under game, actor, art, and sound, terrain, blah, blah, blah. So we will start in the effects tab. So I clicked effects and drop down, maybe it already had open. So I've got this tab right here. We'll type fireball into search, but there's no fireball, so we'll just have to make that. And you right click or control uh, equal sign thingy, you make a new effect or new value of any whatever tab you have open. So you get this, which is the name, ID, effect type based on their mind, race, and field values. So name, we'll just go fireball and let's. Uh, it's always best to start from the bottom up, so we'll just go fireball and we'll do damage, right? I'll just adding this. You can you do not have to write it like you can call whatever you want. I'm just doing this so that we know what it is. The ID you should always press suggest or write in your own ID what you want. The ID uh, what does that do? It's first of all is what you use in catalog triggers to find this to find this effect and. It's also, it also, some things are auto-linked to each other, so automatically, so if you like, for example, make an apply behavior effect, which adds an, which applies a behavior, it will try to find a behavior which has the same ID as the effect, and auto, add automatically. So if we, so right now we, we have effect type apply behavior, there's a behavior called a, a fireball, and has the ID fireball damage, it will actually automatically be like, set to that uh, effect, uh, behavior, this effect. So you won't have to actually edit some fields, which is, Bit useful. So just you know, just always do this. It's better to have these like that. Now effect type. There's a lot of effect types. Apply behavior force, healer, persistent, unit, damage, destroy healer, destroy persistent, generic. Okay, I don't know what a generic effect is. Issue order, is iterate, transport, launch missile, modify player. Okay, you can read these on your own probably. Today we'll be using. Hmm. Okay, we'll obviously be using damage first. Well, I get to the rest. There are. We're actually going to make this fireball not only deal damage on impact, but damage over time as well. Now, based on, we just leave it C effect damage. Just leave it here. In other cases, like actors, we're actually going to use a different based on thing. But, right? Sometimes you have to just, it's important that you pick the right based on. Race, just leave it. It's, there, it's not really important for grouping stuff. It's just, uh, it's not that important. I like leaving it a none will actually make it in the top of the list when you use when you use uh, when you use it, when you want to have triggers or something refer to that it'll none is always on top of the list so that's pretty useful and it'll you know it'll stand out also from other effects now field values are like set to parent value which means it'll be we set to these based on values whichever you pick from that or you can go copy from and pick an already existing effect and copy all values from that so it, like if you want to have the infested terran infested claws damage you can just do that and you'll have that you'll have a fireball damage thing which has all same fields as the infested terran thingy but we want to use set to parent value usually you just usually you can just leave these th these last values alone you don't have to touch that but you know just set parent value which means we'll be using based on which is the whole point of it right if you, i think if we do copy from okay no it doesn't do that no nope. and uh, what is oh, I see effect damage is just like the basic 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 damage effect so we'll finally get started now we got a new effect in the source is untitled map we should have this right here untitled map if you use data sources you change these you get the you know, different data sources so if you just if you go on untitled map you get everything you edited in this map if you go on core SC2 mod, you just get the core data. If you get Liberty, Liberty campaign, right? You just get the 
it will not show any fields which are not from that uh, place so you can just you know use you can just have it show just mod stuff and just your map which is really useful if you, if you don't want to load too much so AI notify flags help friend hurt enemy you don't want him to hurt friend and you don't want it to be a workers only this is just for the AI to respond now damage let's do let's make it 50 damage all right this is combat amount is just 50 damage that's it armor reduction this is how much this is uh, percentage wise how much armor is reduced if you set it to one it'll reduce armor as much as much armor as the thing has if you put, set it to zero it reduces no armor if you set it to two it'll reduce twice as much armor so which so if uh, you know, if you, so if we attack a fully upgraded ultras with six armor with this thing and we have armor reduction set to two we will be dealing only 38 damage because we'll be losing 12 damage to the armor but since this is a spell we will, we will probably want to use just zero now attribute bonus plus damage to armored but logical heroic blah 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 it's you know just like marauders deal 10 extra damage to armored and hellions deal a lot of extra damage to light this is you can just set that here that's how you set it attribute factor wait uh, there attribute factor is the same as bonus just that it multiplies instead of adding a constant value if you would do like three to light that means it will actually do triple damage to light which we don't want to do let's do 1.5 to light and shield bonus this is probably just the bonus it does to shield dam right if you attack shield let's do bonus damage to shields only so if there is not enough right and so you know if you just you need to shield it you can just do you can make a weapon or a spell that has a lot of damage to shields then shield factor is like the same again probably just you know multiplication editor categories comment description name prefix suffix there are just stuff that appears only in the editor so you know if you do this fireball now we've got here fireball fireball so we've got a prefix called fireball and we just put all that if you're like making heroes for a map or something you might want to put the prefix of that hero and when you search that hero you'll find everything connected to him I it's just like for sorting stuff. you can add a suffix as well like damage but we already put it in the name of this effect damage so, uh, I think Blizzard puts that in suffixes usually effect alert I have totally no idea what that's supposed to do oh it's when you it's when you use the effect what it's like an alert you get and the, there are like in, in the game there are alerts right here like you know our units are under attack nuclear launch detected mineral field field expired or whatever All right you can just grab one you can just click one of these and you and that alert will pop up every time you use the effect which I don't really recommend if you like or I mean it's just not you not that useful then chance is the chance of it happening now this is not one percent chance it's 100 this is like uh, you have to use decimals if you want to make 50 percent chance it's 0 0.5 yeah you, you zero is zero is zero and one is 100 you have to use decimals to show the chance death type this is the death type like what how, what how it gets killed what model gets used when it dies so we want fire so it, you know when we kill stuff it burns if, if there's an appropriate model for that of course there, some units do not have fire death models so they'll just use a normal one effect flags so these are usually flags are everywhere usually very very straightforward if you if you check kill it just kills the enemy or like it doesn't care about them it just kills the guy live means it cannot actually kill anybody right it will always stay at zero death it will always leave one life i think or something like that no absorb energy life shields it means it w you will not actually absorb anything all right if you you can you can set you can set values how much of the damage is absorbed you like you get health or shields or energy back no behavior response is something i'll probably make a tutorial later about behavior behaviors are able to respond to damage and you know just do something like the hardened shields they respond to damage right if you get damaged and the behavior is on uh, it will reduce the damage to 10. right if you check there's no behavior response you will actually just ignore hardened shields no uh, damage dealt bonus means that you cannot actually add uh, bonuses onto onto the damage which means you, you can actually add uh, bonus damage by, by behaviors so you can just like add bonus 50 damage and if you check these they will, it will not get anything from those bonus values added so you, they're like you can add there are three types of bonuses scaled unscaled and fraction fraction is multiplication scaled and unscaled i'm not sure what the difference between it but they're just constant values 
Then no delt maximum minimum is uh, you can modify the maximum and minimum damage as well, which means you can just ignore that. No gain is I think probably the same as absorbs. Or not sure exactly. And no leash is okay. I'm not sure exactly which one is which. No kill credit means you do not actually get killed. You can, you can do not have to get the credit for killing them. Like you know, you, I, I guess you won't be getting the the kill the kill rewards like getting health from killing not kill health minerals for, from killing someone. Or I'm not sure. You know, just, you, know you cannot have you, you cannot right. You don't you don't get the kill count. You don't get the mineral experience. Like I'm, I think that's it. And notification. I'm not sure about that. Kill hallucination. Very straightforward. It kills hallucinations if it's enabled. Effect kind. Now very important. Melee range spell splash. There's just four damage types you have, right? And the thing. Why these are important is if you're going to have like heroes or something like that, something that buffs damage, you want to have it the right damage type so that it gets buffed or not buffed. Right? For example, my hero map, I use melee damage for melee and ranged for ranged, and I use spell for spells, and I use splash for damage over time because we used damage over time because I've had damage over times and spell damage. They would re deal ridiculous damage because they deal damage every 0 0.5 seconds and. Right, the damage just keeps the bonus keeps getting added every 0.5 seconds. So I said do the splash and give him a lower bonus damage. So you just want to set this to the right type. So if you right, so that it gets the right bonuses. If you put it to spell, which we, because it's a direct damage, we're just going to use it spell. Uh, you can use splash for whatever. I think splash just kind of I consider it kind of like a bonus damage type because it's not that important. Right, you can always use splat. You can always have splash as ranged melee or spell damage. You don't really need to put it to something else, so I use it as damage over time in my map. Leech fraction is how much dam, how much health you gain back from. Okay, not health, life, energy, or shields, depending here. How much you gain back from dealing damage. So if you cut this to zero point five, you get fifty percent of damage dealt back to your energy. Right, right. You just have to set those. Effect random, I think that is randomized damage, how much bonus, more or less, it will not actually show me, right? It's, it's, right some of these have have these, uh, you see, you just see the tooltip thingy, like, right? it doesn't have any for random. I do not know what recycle count is. Response flags are for the AI, AI you just check acquire and flee. The total is... Uh, you can either combine maximum or minimum. So that this is what we're coming in right now. One second. Um, visibility. I'll go totally search area. We add this, and this will do, make it do area of effect damage, right? You either, right? We make a radius of one, fraction of one, and it'll deal what, like that much damage to everyone. Now the what was the field called? Effect total. Right. If you do radius of three and zero point five. Now the thing is, if you have it set, if you have the effect total value set to maximum, it will not actually do uh, apply this both uh, like to both like so that the people in radius one will not get hit by the, uh, multi with the damage once like fully and once by 0 0.5. They will actually get by the value that does the most. So if you just add like a bunch of these radi, the if you go on maximum, it will just grab, it will just take the largest value that can be dealt at once. It will not actually deal multiple times. And if you go on, uh, what is there? Maximum, if you go on combine, it will take all damages that will hit it. If you go on minimum, it will take the lowest value it can be hit by. Validators are something I'll be coming into, I'll do a, a tutorial on another time. Validators are things that, I don't like conditions for effects or abilities and stuff like that. Right, validators check if the validator you can make lots of validators and if the validator returns false like if it's not true the effect will just not happen visibility i'm not entirely sure i think that's like uh, that's when like when you don't have sight of the unit and it attacks you this this will show show you the unit right if snap it will just show you what the unit want just like it is it will not show you that and you, you cannot attack it to so it's visible you can actually attack the unit probably if you set it to was the other one hidden? It will it will not show you at all what, what was what, what hit you and where from or anything. Vital bonus is vitals are you know, the stats energy, life, and shield. Bonus means it does bonus damage to life or shields or energy. Vital fraction current means it does damage equal to a percentage of the current remaining health. So if you want to do the damage equal to ten percent of the remaining health, 
you, you just do 0 0.1 here and it'll just keep like reducing the health by 0 point by 10 percent of its current value so it will actually never get to zero health and kill it but it will just keep reducing it by a so you know just you know first it will be 10 if it's at full health and then by nine percent blah 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 vital fraction maximum is damage dealt depending on the maximum value so just percentage of maximum search area i show you that right now that's like to do area damage uh, exclude you will always want to do add this value and add caster and target unless you're targeting a point and you don't have to remove target but if you, if you leave caster in there you might be able to hit your caster and if you leave if you do not exclude i mean if you don't exclude it if you don't exclude target you'll probably deal in double damage to him because it will you know be hit by the effect itself and then the search and then this uh, area search as well include you can just like include stuff it's the same way it's the same stuff and it's, it's the same feel just that it, instead of excluding that unit it will include that unit so you can like include a cast which means if you want to do deal damage to your target and the cast at the same time you can also pick like what effects so if you want to like auto turret twin auto cannons caster and will hit the caster of that effect but since we don't have since we do not have the auto turret link to the fireball it'll be a bit of, it, i don't think it'll work in that that, that uh, way maximum and minimum count is like how many it can hit right maximum count if you just put it to three you can only hit three units the most that's it search filters are one area of effect is like what what will it hit like if you can uncheck ally and player and like dead exclude you can make it exclude cloaked you can make it exclude you should always exclude invulnerable and uh, where is it missile if you want items to to be invulnerable as well as exclude those as well Right, and you should you, know, you can re exclude itself as well. This way, you you'll just you know. This way, you exclude these guys from the area damage. Like, or you can wait. Where's air? Where's air? Like, you, we don't want to hit air with with area damage, right? You can exclude that as well. But afterward, this is not area damage. This is normal damage. So we go back type and like you can just like can have shields. You can make it exclude stuff with shields, like any campaign mission. Right, search flags are also as all flags very straightforward. I don't know what call for help should do. It's like it'll probably uh, make all units around you in the in the uh, range that is set somewhere else. Like ask them to help you. Like you know you know when you attack a unit and all other units around it will attack you as well. That's what call for help does. Extend by unit radius means that the uh, it means it will make your radius larger by the radius of the unit. So you know if you have like a unit that is like like the ultra is really huge, it will act, it, you won't actually deal any da you won't deal AOE damage to it, to anything around it because the ultra is larger than the AOE. So just to extend unit by unit radius, and it will make it will do damage around the ultra list as well. Offset area by angle, not sure what that is, and offset by unit radius, not sure what that is either. Same cliff level means you cannot hit stuff on top of a cliff if you if the AOE originates from below the cliff, but in that that kind of stuff. Impact location is your target of the damage effect. Sorry, I had to burp. And uh, you can make the damage effect like uh, be at the caster point, so it does area damage around your caster, right? Or you can just make it like source, origin, outer, target. You usually want to use target unit point. That means it can be either a unit or a point, depending on what, what the effect targets, like how it's applied to that stuff. And the source is where the effect comes from, so like the last place the effect was. If you can, you know, right? The effects don't only originate from units, but you can have like persistent effects, storage effects, and stuff. Different types of effects, which also uh, make they also like send a unit. They also like use effects, and that will be the source point. Or that will be the source point where the effect, where the previous effect or is. What happened? Like, if you like, you can have a search. Uh, you can have an ability that uses a search effect on the target unit, and you can, and then it would, you right, you would caster would be the guy who casted it, and source point source would be the your target the target of the ability, and you can also have it be like the tar you can also specify what effect you want the source or caster from, or target or whatever. Impact unit validator is a validator again. And launch location is like where the effect is coming from. So you know, source like source is like that. You will probably get the credit. I'm not sure what markers are. And target source is unimportant if you do not actually have like a maximum count, 
right? We got, our maximum count is infinite. Minus one always stands for infinity. And target sort, like if you have three units, you can use a target sort value, which sorts the targets. Right? Like, what priority do you want? Target sorts, let's see, life, life largest first. The unit with the, like, it will sort units by uh, largest life. So if you, there are, an ultra risk, a roach, a zergling, and a hydralisk, and only third that can be hit, the zergling will be excluded because it's, because it's the fourth one on the list. It will only, hit, it will hit the ultra first, the, the hydra second, no, the roach second, and the hydra third because, the, because the hydra has the least health, I mean, least health is, that is above the zergling. UI display flags are just, you know, collapse buffs, expand router. It's like how displays the damage if you, if you display it somewhere, like on a weapon. And if that's all we have, right? Okay, now we're finally done with damage effects. Damn, that took a while. We're 25 minutes into the tutorial. Damn. Now we want to do damage over time. So we'll do fireball and we'll do this one dot. Damage over time. We do that again. Damage. We know what the effects do and we do amount. We put something lower, like five. And no armor reduction, no bonuses. We'll just actually we'll do. We'll do bonus to zero point five bonus. Oh yeah, I forgot. This one should not be one point five, but zero point five. So it deals fifty percent extra damage on one hundred fifty. So it would be double and some and a bit more. We'll do the prefix again to fireball. And the damage kind. I'll put it to splash because that's how I do stuff. Alright, this is supposed to be damage over time, so I'm sending it to splash. If you want to, if it's, you do not have to do this like I do, okay? You, it's all all up to you, it's just how I'm used to doing stuff, and it might not be the correct way, but it's my way. And, okay, we got total, okay, we, that's pretty much all we have to do, right? Chances, right? Oh yeah, death, fire, that's what we wanted to change. Mm, there, fire. And that's it, what, what do we need next? We want a behavior. Fireball. Da, 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 da. That should be always of type buff. Okay, buffs are the standard behavior you're gonna use. The, the other ones are different types of buffs. Behaviors, and I'll be going through them another time. My right, power source and user are, you know, Protoss buildings, like pylons is, a, pylons is a source, and all Protoss buildings are the users. And uh, creep source means it actually generates creep. Uh, click response is obvious. Veterancy is making heroes. Wander is uh, just, you know, walks around randomly. And I do not know what the other ones are. Reveal is probably like, you know, you can, like you can see the unit. Oh, we're just going for buff right now. Right, see behavior buff, that's normal, that's okay. And race, okay, everything's fine here. We did, okay, we did, we did set the thing. And how long do we want it to take? We want the duration, let's put it to five seconds. Now, what were okay? Effect periodic is the effect it uses every period. Now we can search for fireball and we go in fireball dot because that's what we want to do. And da, 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 where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, stats flags you can actually hide the behavior. Kill credit caster maximum stack count. How much you want it to stack? We'll leave that for for one maximum stack count for caster. How much you want to stack by caster? Then period is how long it takes per like it's a period how per tick so you know periodic effect happens every one second now because I set it to one period count is how many times it happen so right now it will happen five times because that's the duration because it can only fit five times into the duration but if you put period count to three it will only happen three times now what else is there display display countdown we'll put that to all so everybody can see damage over time effect like there will be a white bar which will decrease. I don't know what the display shield is. Icon is the icon that will show in the in the, like the top left corner of the unit thing, just, be, just beside the wireframe. It should be somewhere around here on the screen. Tooltip deals fire damage over time. There. And I think it's what a, a final effect is an effect that happens when the period ex period is re uh, not the period the behavior is removed or in any way whatsoever just disappears. Right, and that's the final one. If it if it gets put off the unit, effect initial is when it just arrives. Right, when the when the effect just arrives on the unit, we can right when the behavior just adds to unit. That's the first, that's what that's when it happens. Never after that. Expire effect is when it expires. So if the whole duration goes through, if passes, uh, I should learn to talk. When the whole duration expires, 
then this effect happens. If the behavior gets removed any other way, whether it's by using a remove behavior effect or the unit dies or something, the, the expire effect will not happen. Refresh effect is an effect that happens when the behavior gets refreshed. So if you if you had the behavior on the unit again, and uh, what else was there? Oh yeah, if you re-add the behavior to refresh, right? If you refresh it, the initial effect will not happen again, but the refresh effect will. So if you want to, you know, if you want the it to deal, if you want uh, the effect to happen every t every time you add that on the unit, then then you want to have the refresh effect as well. And that, that does the behavior. Also, this, this buff, you got the modification plus field, which will take a short time to open. And this modifies a lot of stuff, right? You can add, you can go to combat, which takes forever to load. Load, load, doom, doom, doom. Right, attack speed multiplier, damage dealt, damage dealt, damage dealt, damage dealt maximum, damage dealt minimum. You, 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 we talked about those flags before. Death response, what happens if it kills the unit? Right, there is so much stuff you can you can just do here. Right, you can you can change its movement as well. Right, acceleration bonus multiplier, deceleration, movement speed, movement speed multiplier, plane, delta, I don't know, I don't know what that does. Snare multiplier, resource. Uh unit is mostly harvesting stuff. Unit, you can change like its health, life, you can change its regenerations, you can change its detection, sight Sight and its height and mm, you, know, you can just change a lot of stuff like oh you can also like change armor life all that stuff weapon what does the weapon do again well you can like disable weapons or in change the range right, there's a lot of stuff you can change in modification plus it's a really useful field uh, alignment you don't want you want that to be negative because it's, well you, you do not want to get burnt do you and uh, I think that is it right here. Validators disable means if the validator is false, that the behavior will just be disabled. It, it will not be removed, it will just not work. So you know, any bonuses, any periodic effects and stuff like that, they will not work. I do not know whether it stops the duration, right, if it was a death. And, oh crap, somebody's messaging me. Uh, I'll ignore that for a second and remove me that the relative returns false. It actually completely removes the behavior. And uh, I think that's it. Okay, we're done here. Now we have to do is we have to do a apply behavior, right? I'm gonna tell you the thing with the IB, fireball, AB, that's what I use for apply behavior. And now you see the behavior is already set to fireball. Right, but, but, we, but we, we don't need a different ID, so you see now to turn to fireball AB, which is not the one we have. We need fireball. Behavior count is how much count, how much you want to put on it, like stacks. And alert is the alert again chance, kill has kill hallucination, you know that response flags, you just want to set that to that again. Validators, I already told you what that is, markers, I'm not sure what those do, tech trailers, and unit it's a target unit, right? That's okay, that was so that was fast. Didn't take forever, like the damage effect. And uh, Fireball AB, what, what are we missing? We're missing the uh, launch missile, which will take a bit longer. Actually, first we have we should do take care of the units tab. Fireball add unit fireball missile. Okay, missiles are units. Race neutral. It's based on where is default settings? No, an invulnerable missile. I think that's it. Yeah, that should do it. Editor categories, we set that to object type is object family and where is it, where is it, where is it? Do we have missile here? Projectile there. I'm not sure whether that, that does anything, but I know that I had I have lots of problems with missiles. I do not know if it does probably just me, but I get totally screwed over by them. And um, wanna change the mover to a uh, generic no no generic missile mover. No, it's standard missile mover. No, what was it called again? Oh, I hate this when it happens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Searching through the list. Missile default, there it is. That's the default mover. I will probably make abilities with custom movers some other time. Movers are how the missile moves, so 
You can make it like the banshees have different banshee missiles have different movers because you know you, you can see them how they like move a, a tiny bit left and right. I did it. They don't fly straight. They have like a tiny, they're a tiny bit different. Now that's that's all we have to do here. In effect, we make long, a fireball, fireball LM. This will be used. Okay, if LM is stands for launch missile, and we go for launch missile effect. We do not define the default. I just based on okay default effect, and that is it. Now AI notify flags. Wait, not that one. Da da da. da. Wait, not wrong box there. Prefix fireball. You know standard drill. And transfer behavior is a behavior that adds on to another one. Alert, chance, death type. I even know these fields already finished. Effect is the effect when it, I think the missile is done, dead and everything. It, okay, it doesn't save. Flags, always normal, like channel, like it, the, the you will channel the missile. And re retarget, return means the missile actually comes back to you. Retarget means the missile actually re retargets if its target dies while it's flying. Transfer, I'm not sure what that is. Well laid weapon, right? Okay, that's okay. Impact effect is the effect that happens. Oh, yeah, we that's what I forgot to do. Fireball set. We have to use a set effect. Set effects are kind of like a box with effects. Alright, AI notify flags. Uh, alert, you know what that is. Chance effects, we add, we add an effect here, which is fireball AB. Right, we want to play the behavior and we want the fireball to do damage. We put this effect. We could theoretically have put the damage effect as the initial and refresh effect of the fireball behavior, but I want to just show you set effects. Now what to set effects that I've got a maximum count, which I'll set to minus one, but I think if it's zero it, it defaults to infinity. And random means it will just grab a random effect. Or a random number effect if, depending on the maximum count. So like if you want to make if you wanted to grab a random effect. Like, uh, I don't got a hero which has all the uh, effects of my other heroes in NC Spec and just grab the random one when I use an ability. So it just randomizes, the, so it's practically a randomized ability. You know what validator is, target location type is unit. And there, that's it, you can change the target location point. And that's it, now fireball LM, we go back to the impact effect and we go to fireball and we find the set effect. That's it, launch effect, we don't want one because that's the effect that happens when a missile is launched. So, you know, if you want to do something when it just when it starts flying, you can use that. Then response flags, hmm. Yep, this. Retarget filters are like filters for retargeting, the range for retargeting, return delay is how long it takes to turn back. Transfer count is probably for behavior, I think. Validators are validators. Visibility is probably just like how what how you see the unit that uses this effect. Movers. You can set the mover for the missile. Impact location is the target unit. Impact offset. You can change like where it hits. Impact range, launch location, launch offset. You can change those. You can change okay markers again. Text really, I do not know. Ammo life, you can set like how much life the thing has, the ammo unit. <laughs> it's supposed to be fireball and missile. And we don't need we do not need a placeholder unit. There. We set that up. So now the thing is this will not work by itself. Right? We have to make an actor. Fireball. First of all, let's make a missile actor, right? Missile. I don't actor suggest okay, in actor it's very important to pick what the actor type is. And we want to what what we want to do? Projectile, missile. Where is it? Missile, missile. There is a missile. And we want to have it to based on this is also a generic attack missile. This is important. Now unit name, we change this to fireball missile. There, there we go. Down now it's our proper missile art model. This is where we open the preview. You hit Control, Shift, and V, or you right click an actor and sh and, and uh, choose preview model. And I think I should mute that. Uh, okay, this is taking forever to load. Oh, and, and there we are. So this is the preview. It shows you all models. So. These are models, right? Now, we, for missiles, we usually want to take effects. And let's just take Terran because, you know, fire missile, Terran has a lot of fire stuff. Let's just go to the bottom of the list and totally 
by coincidence find a missile which fits perfectly for a fireball. Right? It's not like I planned this ahead. No, no, no. This is definitely a coincidence. Right? You can change this. You can see the missile here. Right? It looks good for a fireball, but we're going to do more to that later. And we also have death. There, you can change animations, right? So burst, right? You can also change uh, cloaking to enemy. Right? Okay, we don't see that anymore. Cloaking to ally. Right now it's a bit cloaked. I think I'm uh, running the thingy on low settings. No cloaking weight preferences. Uh, uh, wait, I should find. We should see whether I can change the settings here. Uh, render shader mode. Mm, can I change it here? No. No. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can change. I can make the preview use a, use a separate graphic settings. Actually, wait. We're not, we're not going to be using the terrain editor today, so we can just set the graphics to higher preferences, and we can, we can just set the two. We can just set the shaders to extreme. Now it takes a while to load, and now it looks a bit better. Right. Remove this, and this is what the impact looks like when you add a missile. Boom. Right, this, this looks good like an impact model, doesn't it? Okay, we got that, which means we want the Yamato missile. Yamato weapon is what it's called here. They don't usually, they don't always have the same name as the model in the previewer. But they, a lot of times they do. Unit burst fireball missile. You just have, these, are, these are the actor events. Events are practically, they they tell the model what to do, right? When the when the fireball missile unit is born, it creates the model. When the unit when a unit so the unit is born, it starts the animation. When the unit is destroyed, it dies. It destroys this actor, and when the actor is an orphan, it destroys the actor as well. That's pretty much it. We do we do not need more for a missile. And wait, ah oh crap! I, cl I click cancel. Fireball missile. Okay, there. What else do we need? We, we, we won't change the scale or anything, and I think that's it for the fireball missile. And we, that means now our missile actually has a visual before, we're just a bit invisible. So actually, it would have been a white ball or a placeholder model, which is a white sphere. So if you do not put, set a model for a unit or missile, it will show you the placeholder model. Mo placeholder model. Wow. I should seriously learn to talk. Fireball action. This is an action actor, which is very, very important for missiles. Uh, see what we can base it on. E AOE attack base. No, it's not an AOE. It's not C actor. It's not that. It's a generic attack. I guess. Generic attack. Okay. The launch effect was what? Fireball? LM. The impact effect was... Fireball. I think I just screwed something up. Fireball. Set. There it is. And okay, we've got a lot of fields here. A lot, a lot, a lot of fields, which you mostly will not need. Ignore this. Ignore this. Actually, no. Do not ignore this one. Fireball. Missile. That's the missile we're using, right? You have to set, you have to set the missile. You can change these models. We'll change those further below. Container attachment is where the launch model will be attacked attached when you're inside a container. So you know bunkers. If you attack from a bunker, where will it be attached? Now damage attachment query, we can leave that as it is. And impact okay, also and launch AM filter weapon. Let's not do it weapon, but weapon all but weapon in general. It attachment methods filter weapon, which means it will attach to it will launch from a, an attachment point called weapon. And the fallback, one second, fall, fallback is center, which means it will, if it cannot find a weapon a weapon attachment model, it will it will shoot from the center of the unit. Container assets, we do not need that. Damage map. So now we want to just, right, we want to have our impact effect. 
which is Yamato Impact. No, we have to go to Battle Cruiser. Battle Cruiser Yamato Attack Impact. Right, that's it. And sound we can do Terran Explosion. Let's just go for small. Right, these are real happy when it is. these are like the impact stuff. I think it is. Not sure which one it is. Okay, and then there's impact map as well, which I think are the same. I think those two do kind of the same thing. Now in events, we have to go here. Events at so fireball. Uh, screw that up. Fireball launch missile. No nope. app. Ah. Start at caster. We do. Okay, I think we just leave it at that. I don't know why. Cancel. Let's go back in there and see what it was. Okay, impact effect. Sorry. Effect fireball set and start. That's how we do it. And if we do not have an attack effect, but we have a launch effect, fireball LM, it was at start as well. Add caster, create there. I'm not sure whether this add caster is correct, but uh, it's default, so we'll just leave that there. Should work theoretically. Now, what did we do? What did we do? What do we do? Hmm. I think we're done. Oh, we have to make the weapon. Yep, I'm totally smart. Weapons tab, fireball, that type. Fireball, I think it's legacy. I'm not sure what, what the difference is, but all weapons tend to use legacy. So, scan filters. Okay, we're going to leave that. And, uh, hmm. So, let's start. Cost, no cost. Effect, fireball. LM, there we go. Marker arc, we're just gonna leave it at zero. Our stop is okay, that's okay. Mm, that's okay as well. Level is okay, minimum range is okay, minimum scan range is okay. Period, let's put that to an attack of 1.25. We can leave it at random delays. Range, let's put it to range 7. And uh, let me just play effect fireball. This is, the, this is the effect it shows when it's uh, it shows when you when you mouse over the weapon, and display attack count is how much times that damage effect is dealt. So you know, mother should actually deal damage six times. So you that you would put this as six. But we only have one, but we only hit once, so we leave it at zero. Icon is the icon of the weapon. Usually, usually you, units use the standard like Terran attack model or or Zerg attack, not model, but icon right they just use those depending on the upgrade and it's taking forever for me to load sorry we're not that fast when recording fire i was going to search for fire and look i don't know that many fire models i think the models but uh things okay firewall that looks that looks good uh tool i think that's that's all we really need uh -huh. We don't need that. We don't need that. And I think we pretty much set up our weapon. Yep, we did. Target filters. I'll just leave those at default. Now we just gotta give a unit our weapon. Units. Let's pick the marine. Actually, let's take the war pick. War pick look cooler. Tom tom tom. Load. Yep, doesn't load that fast when we're recording. Oh yeah, that's why. All data. You don't have to take it along. And where is war pig? War pig. There, Merrick War Pig Marine. And we're gonna change this weapon to Fireball. There. Now let's get the Archon. We want to have like a test dummy unit, right? Archon. And we're going to remove its weapon. We're just going to remove the Archon's weapon so that we have a large test dummy unit to check. Now we hit this test button right there. So easy.
Okay, we're already 49 minutes into the video, so I think I will not actually be doing all three abilities today. I will... Okay, I might be doing them today, but not in one video. I'll stop after this one and I'll create the other effects, other abilities on another tutorial. Right, oh yeah, I forgot to remove that as a trigger. You just have to remove the melee initialization trigger. Now, the editor has cheat codes. And I, you see, that's, that's cheat code for the editor. Also, the video is very l laggy here because I'm recording, and I do not know why, but it's being really laggy. Even though my FPS is higher than what it's ac what it actually looks like, you can see in the top left corner. And make unit archon. Let's make it five archons for player six, uh, 15. He's hostile. And you see, boom. Okay, apparently we do not have an impact model. I just see they're taking damage every five seconds. And we're firing fireballs at them. Boom, boom, boom. Right, we're firing fireballs. We do not have a sound. We do not have anything else. So we should just get back and go back to the data editor. Go to the actor. And we should just do that again so we do not get spammed with actors. And go back to fireball. Fireball action. And where are launch assets? There they are. We'll go for sound and let's go for Terran explosion. Terran pre explosion, that sounds good. We're going to use explosion for our uh, other thing. Now, impact map. That should help. Also, let's make an attached model, which will make it look really cool. So, fire, fireball attach. We're going to use this as a model and model animation style continuous fireball attach and the model will be fire medium right we use the fire medium model and the host should be we're going to actor fireball no wait no 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 fireball missile that is it that's i think everything we need and now we have to do add event unit burst unit burst fireball and we create unit death ah come on unit and we scroll down to death fireball and we pick destroy there now let's check whether it looks better now I'm gonna wait for it to turn on again we can move the trigger debugger okay the trigger debugger just disappeared I'll wait for this to load my super slow computer Oh, my tutorials take a lot longer than I expected them to. Right now we make another war pick. Make unit war pick. Make and it, it creates in at your cursor. Make unit archon five for player fifteen. See. Kind of the models are scaled a bit off, and you see we've got a nice cool trail of fire. We shoot, we see the trail of fire, we leave on that's the attached model. Alright, to make it look a bit cooler, we can make the data, we go back to the data editor, fireball attach, scale 2, 2, 2, events, and we make the time scale time scale and we make it go twice as fast we test it again we can make it look really neat let's hope this worked now we had sounds and everything so you know it worked perfectly we're just making it look we're just making it look neater the time scale should in theory make it make the model think it if time passes faster and therefore make the particles faster which means we'll have a thicker trail of fire return to game 
make unit warp pig make unit big blue test dummy which does not do anything there and that works all right I had to pause the video there for a second people came into the room and right now we've got the Marine shooting really big fireballs. And if you hover over it, where's this light? It does 50% damage more, right? Neat. Right? Really cool now. Now we're gonna stop the terrible FPS game because I'm recording it with. with and I'm recording it actually with the lower FPS than Fraps does usually. So that's pretty bad. Anyway, I think we're done. Yep, we're done with this tutorial. I will make a. I'll do the other two, two, two abilities in another tutorial because we already cover. Uh, I'm probably going to do them each in one tutorial because I, I don't think I'm going to make it under one hour for what each ability because I'm going to start using. I'm going to be doing more about actors and persistent effects. Also about storage effects and um, what other effects. Yeah, most mostly storage. Search for. Oh, yeah, I'll be using searches, forces. Persistence and okay, damage and you know the other effects, but you know I'll be doing a lot about those those effects in the next two tutorials or one tutorial, depending on how fast I do those. And uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter. I am the Almighty, right at the Almighty. Just follow me there. I if I actually do end up getting followers for this, I will actually start doing. Uh, I'll actually like ask questions for what to do in tutorials. And uh, you know, I'll do updates about Into StarCraft. I'll do updates about S2 Master Map Night. I'll do updates about all kinds of stuff related to mapping, and Into StarCraft, and it somehow relates to me. And uh, hmm, yeah, that's it. I think right. Also, check out the channel. If you are viewing this video not on it, just right, I'm gonna reload it just to see. Stuff. Okay, I got 10 views on my previous video. Oh my god, that's so awesome. And just, you know, just hit the subscribe button, which will be somewhere around here, or I think somewhere up here. And you also got a website, but it's being worked on right now. And right, just please subscribe if you, if you like these tutorials. And we also do melee replays. Right, so we're, we're multiple categories. We do melee replays, and we also do custom web reviews. So wherever you're watching this from, Please subscribe if you like this and if you found this helpful because it's you know motivates us to do more stuff and more right and thumb it up and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. I think I'm talking way too much for now, right? Goodbye.